there are four special things that you need to do for your baby now that they have cystic fibrosis. We need to pay special attention to their salt intake, their vitamins, extra calories, and for many babies, enzymes. The best way to give enzymes is to mix it with a small amount of acidic food, and typically we use applesauce. Now you might ask, why, why is it important I mix it with an acidic food? Why can't I just put it in the bottle? That would seem so much easier. But we need to mix it with just a little bit of acidic food because we're trying to mimic the way the enzymes are set up to work. Sometimes babies will spit out the applesauce and the enzymes. And this doesn't mean that your baby doesn't like the applesauce or the enzymes. Babies have an ability to suck and swallow, but learning how to handle applesauce and enzymes in their mouth will be a new skill that they'll need to learn. So you just scoop it back up and put it in their mouth. Go on with feeding your baby. It's interesting giving enzymes to an infant, absolutely. We had our, you know, we learned our little tricks of how to do it. One day when we had the applesauce and I'd be you know, struggling trying to just have them all stay on the top of the spoon and Sarah would just be like, you need to just make a little well. <laughs> and you know, so the enzymes would stay in this little well and go right in and you know, she'd be, you know, she would be fine. When Aiden was a baby, we started the enzymes um, the day he was diagnosed because he had already been losing weight and showing signs of malabsorption. So we started the enzymes that day. He was five pounds, four ounces. Mm -hmm. By that Tuesday, he was 7 11. I mean, enzymes were huge in his life. I think even to today, you know, AJ has adapted so well to his treatments that even as a six-year-old, he now swallows capsules whole. He swallows tablets whole. About 90% of kids with cystic fibrosis need to take enzymes, and enzymes help you to digest protein and fat and carbohydrates. And we have to give these enzymes every time your baby takes a bottle or nurses. So it may seem like oh, a lot of extra work, especially when you're tired in the middle of the night, but it's so important because if we don't give them the enzymes, they're not gonna be able to digest their food and they're not gonna be able to get the calories that they need to grow and develop. Nutritionally, he took off after the enzymes. We, you know, concentrate on high fat, high calorie foods, but also, you know, yogurt and nutritious things. And we were lucky because his nutrition really just has done really well. It is tricky to know if your baby is getting enough calories because, like I said, some babies only need a little bit extra calories and some babies need a whole lot extra of calories. So the best way to know is if your baby is growing in the way that we hope they are. And growth is so important for babies with cystic fibrosis. So here at our center, we see the babies a lot. We see them maybe once a month um, or sometimes every other week. And sometimes I arrange that they go in and go to their pediatricians and get weight checks and I call and talk to the parents about how their baby's growing so we can stay on top of the calorie needs that your baby has. For extra calories, these babies need maybe a little bit more, maybe 10% more, and some babies need a whole lot more, maybe 100% more than a baby that doesn't have cystic fibrosis. So there are lots of things that dietitians can help you do as a parent to make sure that your baby is getting enough calories. Sometimes moms who would like to breastfeed or provide breast milk to their baby have questions like, can I still do this? And the answer is definitely yes. There are many things that we can do that will help ensure your baby gets enough calories but still be able to use the breast milk. We've used carnation supplements, we've used Ensure supplements. We use high fat foods like peanut butters. It's a little difficult when you have a newborn though, you can't, you can't do those sorts of things. I think breastfeeding really helped us. I think that made a world of difference, just the fat alone from that. When babies are growing so fast and they're taking in initially smaller amounts of formula or breast milk, and that will increase. And we need to match the amount of enzymes that they're taking with the amount of food they're getting. So what we need to know from you is, are there any signs of malabsorption? Is our poop a little bit more greasy than normal? How many stools are we having in a day? Has that gone up? Is the stool consistency changed? Is it an increased odor? And also, is a baby having any more gas than normal? 
This will help us to know if we need to adjust the enzymes. If we haven't asked the question but the baby is experiencing this, give us a call because we want to know so we can help you. When your baby was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, they had a sweat test. And with that sweat test, they measured how much salt was in the sweat. And it was higher than a baby that doesn't have cystic fibrosis. Because their sweat has extra salt in it, we need to make sure that their diet has enough salt in it. So for babies, we recommend adding a little bit of salt, usually an eighth of a teaspoon. And then as they get older, we may recommend adding additional salt. The other challenge, aside from calories, is salt. And we salted her formula. So we would make a pitcher of formula for her for the day, and we would add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Mix that up, and you know that she's going to drink all of that formula, and she's going to get all of her salt. We also keep two separate milks. She's still on whole milk, and we salt her whole milk. What I recommend as far as giving the salt is spreading it out throughout the day. So if you are making bottles, you can add a little bit of salt to each bottle. Um, so you might put the scoops of powder into the eight bottles that you're feeding your baby through the day and just put a little bit of salt in each one. If you're breastfeeding, it's a little bit trickier and you should talk to your dietitian to help work out a method that works best for you and your baby. Throwing and salt in everything you mm -hmm. possibly can from formula to cereal mixed with fruit. I mean, that was an, a good thing as well, especially in the warm months. And if you're not sure, if you have questions, ask, ask your doctor, ask the nutritionist. They'll, they'll steer you in the right direction. There has been research that has shown that babies who grow at the 50th percentile weight for length, once they're able to do pulmonary function tests or PFTs, that correlates with better PFT um, results. Throughout the course of the first year, of course there were challenges. For instance, Nicole's growth was so much faster than expected, so in the beginning her enzyme dosage was less than what her weight required because she grew so quickly. The wonderful thing about cystic fibrosis is your child can have any food that they want to have. They need those extra calories and they need the extra salt. So there are things that we need to make sure they're getting extra of. So as your baby is getting older, your dietitian will talk to you about things that we can do to make sure that they're getting enough calories. It might be label reading, so you're buying baby food or making baby food that has extra calories in it, or it might be adding oil to the baby food or your homemade foods. To learn more about this issue, ask your CF Foundation Accredited Care Center or contact the CF Foundation directly call 800-FIGHT-CF or email us at info at cff.org.